Today, I'm going to tell you 15 fast facts about the beautiful Bimini Beach Club. If you're a first-time visitor, let me be your guide. I'm going to tell you what's included with your cruise fare, what isn't, and give you some pointers that will help you have an even better beach day. If that sounds interesting, please keep watching. Hello everyone, I hope you're having a splendid day and if you're new here, welcome. My husband and I have been big fans of Bimini long before Virgin Voyages ever sailed there. Bimini is the closest Bahamian island to Fort Lauderdale. It's only 50 miles away, so it's pretty easy to get there by boat. We like Bimini so much, we named our little pup Bimini. Our little girl dog is named Bimini and our boy dog is Boston. I've been on several Scarlet Lady cruises, so of course I have visited Bimini Beach Club a few times. So in this video, I'm going to tell you a few things you should know before you go. Without further ado, let's dive in. Number one, there are some things you should bring with you to the Bimini Beach Club. First is your C-band. This is a bracelet that Virgin gives you that allows you to open your stateroom door and also to pay for things on board. You need it to get off and back on the ship at all ports, including Bimini. You should also bring sunscreen, of course, and I recommend bringing a reusable water bottle with you. This will keep you from having to keep staying in line at a bar to ask for a cup of water. Number two, there is a complimentary tram. You can't walk to Bimini Beach Club. You actually have to take the tram. Once you get off the ship, it's about a five minute walk to the trams that will take you to the beach club. The large trams are for all guests and the smaller carts are for rock stars or sweet guests. Number three, there is a great place near the entrance just to chill out. Once you get to the club, you'll walk through a covered area with comfortable seating and a bar. This is the perfect place to relax if you want to get out of the sun. In my experience, it's usually pretty empty. People seem to forget it's there. Number four, there are six different bars at the beach club, so you should never have to wait too long to get a cocktail. And don't forget, soda is included on all Virgin Voyages. Number five, speaking of bars, your bar tab works at the Bimini Beach Club. If you prepaid your bar tab, you can use it to purchase drinks at the Bimini Beach Club. My favorite cocktail there is the Club Punch. It is made with a variety of different rums and fruit juices, and it is $13. Number six, if you want to drink cheaply, get a bucket of beers. If you purchase five beers, you get $5 off. And you can mix and match the beers. Here is the menu selection from my most recent visit. Number seven, your Virgin Wi-Fi also works at the club. All Virgin sailors get free basic Wi-Fi, but it's not that great. I definitely recommend upgrading. It's about $50 and that is for three different devices. Number eight, there are two pools at the club. These pools are right next to each other. They are large resort style pools. The pools are also close to the beach, so you can easily hop back and forth. The pool on the Scarlet Lady is notoriously small. So if you want to spend a day lounging by a pool, this is the spot. My favorite place to hang out is in one of the wicker swing chairs in the pool at the pool bar. Number nine, lunch is included. When you get hungry, you can just walk up to the food area and grab your lunch. The club has a Caribbean style menu. And here are the options. First, let's look at the entrees. Lashan Asado. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. It's basically pork. Also, they offer Caribbean chicken and coconut curry, banana leaf steamed red snapper, and they have two vegetarian options. The first is West Indian pumpkin curry and a Bahamian mango and macadamia salad. Now let's look at the sides. They have watermelon and jicama salad, grilled corn on the cob, and crispy cassava, which I believe is yucca. And for dessert, they have an absolutely delicious rum cake as well as tropical fruit salad. Here's a pic of the lunch. In this photo, you can see the pork, the watermelon salad, the grilled corn on the cob, and the rum cake. Oh, and one more thing, be sure to eat breakfast on the ship before you go to the beach club. Number 10, cabanas are available for an extra cost and there are different types of cabanas. The Grove cabanas are near the entrance and the Lagoon cabanas are near the pool. And of course, the beach cabanas are located near the ocean. There are also rock star cabanas that are exclusively for the use of sweet guests. The cabanas start at around $350 and that cost is per cabana, not per person. All cabanas include a $100 bar tab, so the first couple rounds of drinks are on Richard. 
Number 11, loungers and umbrellas are free. So if you don't get a cabana, there's no problem. There are plenty of loungers and umbrellas available by the pool and on the beach, and there is no cost to use them. Of course, they are first come, first serve, but there are plenty of them, so you shouldn't have any problem getting settled in. Number 12, shore excursions are available. If lounging by the beach all day isn't your idea of a great time, you can always book an excursion, and there are a lot of different options available. You can go jet skiing, kayaking, or even scuba diving. There are a lot of options and to view these just go to the Virgin Voyages website and click on shore things. S-H-O-R-E. Number 13, rent a golf cart. This is something we did on our most recent Scarlet Lady cruise. You can rent a golf cart for around $80 at Fisherman's Village. The complimentary tram stops at Fisherman's Village and that's where you'll find the golf carts. It's fun to ride around town and explore some of the other beaches. Bimini is very safe, although the town looks a little run down from all the hurricanes and storms. But don't let that deter you from exploring. Oh, and bring cash. I don't know if they accept credit cards. Number 14, relax in a hammock. There are a couple areas very close to the entrance that have several hammocks, and Virgin calls these hammock groves. They are very close to the Grove Cabanas, by the way. Number 15, there is a private area for rock stars or sweet guests, and it's called Richard's Retreat. It's a shady, covered area with lots of seating and a bar, and it's pretty nice. But the area I mentioned earlier in the video that's right near the entrance is very similar, and that's available to all sailors. And that's it. I hope you found this video informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, and I'd also like to invite you to subscribe to my channel. I do lots of different cruise videos on lots of different topics, and I would absolutely love it if you would join my traveling party. Have you been to Bimini Beach Club? If so, leave me a comment below and tell me how you liked it. If you'd like to talk Virgin Cruising with me just a little bit longer, I will link to videos at the end that I think you might like. The left video is 15 fast facts you should know before sailing on the Scarlet Lady. And the video on the right is seven Scarlet Lady secrets where I share some of my best insider tips. Until next time, I hope you have happy and safe travels. I appreciate you and thank you so much for watching. Bye.